Welcome back, friends. Uh, we have got with us here today Dr. Kavya, who has secured 29th rank in FET 2022 and who has been allotted a seat in reproductive medicine FNB at Madras Medical Mission. Uh, many congratulations on this, Dr. Kavya. Thank you very much, ma'am. This interview is uh, for you to discuss with us your strategy. Uh, first, tell me about yourself, where you, you, you've done your UG and PG from, and then how did this preparation begin? Sure, so, ma'am. Kavya. Yeah. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Uh, I uh, am from Mumbai, basically. So I did my UG from uh, Topiwala National College, Nair All Hospital. Right. All right. And uh, that was in 2013 batch. And 2019, I got my PG in JJ Hospital, Grand Government okay. and JJ Hospital. So I did my MS uh, from there, OBGY. And uh, I was doing my SR ship in BMC Peri uh, Periphery Hospital. So when did you finish your uh, PG? Ma'am, July 2022, just now. I'm All right, just now you me. finished. Yeah. And then you were doing your bond SR ship. Yeah, ma'am, bond SR ship I was doing. Oh. I had done my six months of my bond, then I gave the exam. And then once I got a seat, I left my bond in between. So I joined the course. All right. So when did this preparation begin? When did you decide that you will prepare? Uh, Ma'am, I was interested in giving uh, FET exam, I was interested in repro medicine. So, uh, actual preparation, I would say in the last month, January. Okay, I had, last uh, one month. Yeah, I had uh, read your repro medicine notes for at least like three to four times. The in the last of, one month? Yeah, three to four times. And that's what helped me. Okay, when did you join Repronit Learning? I had joined Repronit in uh, April 2022. Before my okay. uh, uh, postgraduate uh, theory exams, exactly. uh, so I used to refer your notes for uh, obstetrics and gynae and mainly onco gynae topics. And uh, we didn't get so much of repro medicine in MS exams, to be exactly. very honest. Yeah. Uh, so, like, uh, I used to refer your notes for gynae, onco, and repro med and general gynae. And then, uh, but I, after the uh, PG theory exams, I didn't prepare anything, like, I didn't prepare any MCQ. So, I just started with my bond. And then later on, um, I gave me to the preparation, but uh, my rank was not so good. So I thought I should give uh, FET, FET a try. But uh, because of the bond postings, I didn't get much of time during the uh, course. Okay. So actual preparation started towards December end. So okay. then I revised your uh, only your uh, app and, uh, and the notes. That's it. In the last one month? Last one month, yeah. So that's the only time when you sincerely prepared? Yeah, sincerely. Like I had, uh, I had a constant touch because I was given my uh, DNB theory exam also okay, in December. Okay, that's You were you were in constant touch with. Yeah, the it was mainly theoretical based, but uh, MCQ point, especially repro medicine, I was not. I had prepared only in the last one month, January month. Okay, and when did you take the DNB theory exam? Uh, ma'am, that was on twenty first uh, to twenty fourth of December. Okay, so that was also recently. You had prepared for that. You were preparing uh, for DNB. Yeah, ma'am, superficially, whatever, just superficial preparation. But MCQ point for the entrance exam, I had prepared from end of December, around 20, after 25th, after my DNB. So it's wonderful. Uh, you know, only last student also, Sanam, who I interviewed, she had also read only for two months and you've read only for one month. So it's nice. I'm feeling more proud of myself each, <laughs> every day, <laughs> by every interview. Anyway, so what were you reading in your PG times? Uh, my PG time, I had uh, referred standard textbooks. Uh, I had uh, read Williams Obstetrics and uh, Berek and Novak and uh, Spiroffs. I had read most of, like almost some part of it, but uh, like uh, that was during my residency, mainly in the last year. But for the exam, I shifted to Indian books, Indian textbooks for preparing and giving preparing and being able to write answers yeah for that i had to shift for the last two months but after my um, uh, in post graduation uh, the year exams i didn't uh, go back to the uh, standard textbooks so whatever i had read standard was only in the second uh, half of second year and the third year that's it but then, i had read i was mainly interested in obstetrics and uh, repro medicine endocrine part so I had read uh, some part of Spiros and William Obstetrics properly. All right. And uh, so when you stopped reading them after your PG exam, what was your source of reading? Where were you reading from for DNB exam and for the... Ma'am, your notes. All right. So after your yeah, PG exam, I... it was only notes. 
Yeah, it was only notes, ma'am. I didn't go back to the textbooks. Textbooks, you did not go back. Mm -hmm. But then it must have helped to have read those books. Yeah, ma'am. It forms a, it form, it formed the base. So upon that, I could like uh, yes. uh, read more and uh, like for MCQ base and for I could recall the point is if I could correlate and uh, do something. Uh, so how many hours would you spend reading in the last month, January, when you decided seriously to prepare? Uh, Ma'am, around uh, six to seven hours a day. Okay. So were you working in this month of January? Yeah, ma'am. I was working for most of it, uh, like okay. uh, most most part of it. I don't know. I, I so you would six. get six to seven hours every day to read? You would get uh, that much time? In between, ma'am, whenever. Like, uh, I would spend extra time at the night after maybe uh, wake up at the night and read or wake up early in the morning and read. And uh, I used to read mainly on on-call days so that I used to not sleep at night. So I used to like management time like that. So that I couldn't solve... Kind of student. <laughs> who will work and will read while working you also look very sincere you know i i have also done from maharashtra na? so there are two kinds of students there are girls who are very sincere who you look at them and you know you are in awe that these girls are so perfect they read they are pretty they've got everything so you're one of them uh, <laughs> blessings to you a lot of blessings to you thank you ma'am thank you so much so you were reading six to seven hours a day in the last one month yeah, ma'am. In between, I used to like not in a stretch. Uh, whenever I used but to get time, like you total, it used to be six hours. Yeah, six to seven. But you hours. were working also. Yeah, ma'am. I was working. For I must have taken around ten days of leave uh, okay. in the last few in the last month. But uh, I was working like I used to. Be. So that was wonderful, uh, Dr. Kavya, that you were working mm -hmm. also. You did not sit at home to prepare, and then only yeah. one month of preparation, and you've done everything. You've also completed your MS. You've completed your DNB exam. Yeah, ma'am, DNB, and I've given my MSUG part one. I've cleared oh, that. My, I'm given, going to give my part two. In as the, the, you know, as the folds unfold, as your covers unfold, <laughs> you, I am in more awe of you. Uh, you're so talented. And All your so inspiration, ma'am, nothing else. Mm -hmm. I wanted to do repro medicine only after seeing you. Okay, wonderful. That's nice. Uh, so uh, tell me more. Uh, give me some tips for the students, the next batch students. Uh, what would you suggest for them? Because there is almost one year, eight, nine months at least for the next exam. So any tips right now? Uh, tips? I really don't know what to say, but uh, I would say that uh, uh, have a habit of uh, forming notes. I actually didn't have, frankly. So I think that would have helped me do much more better. Okay. And instead of the last minute rush, that would have helped me in a slow, like gradual uh, progress. So... Uh, like forming notes will help you understand topic also better so that uh, one thing i would like to like tell my juniors so do you do. believe that uh, for the dnb exam the theory preparation that you did if mm -hmm. uh, you know you did mcq preparation also with that it would have helped yeah ma'am so i would have uh, probably got a better <laughs> a higher rank uh, yeah but and then, uh, uh, you were busy right you were busy yeah. You... And the more the DNB part, ma'am, the PSM portion that you've covered, mm -hmm. that also like helped us a lot, like uh, for mm -hmm. the questions that had come, especially in paper four. So oh, we, I had read that, and so it was really very useful. Like I okay. didn't have to go back to the PSM topics again. I had to take a lot of effort to make those notes. So I know I, we could. You had taken a foundation course, or what? Uh, no, ma'am, FET course. Oh, I know. I had given because I had taken so much effort, had, I had given it to all students. Yeah, yeah, you had given it and uh, yes. you had uh, extended the course also since the uh, FET exam got postponed. Mm -hmm. So we had extended the course for like three months for all of us. Okay. And I had given, no, don't say that because people keep messaging me to extend the course every time. It's not possible <laughs> every time. But with more know. number of people coming and joining me with more, num uh, the workload increases, people. There are more people to pay. So it's not very easy to extend every time. Sorry. Yeah. No, that's all right. Uh, Dr. Kavya, uh, tell me about the exam. How did you find the exam? Uh, was, was there any strategy that you're going to mark certain number of questions and you're going to leave the other questions? Uh, I had planned to like uh, attempt all the questions in part A. And part B, like uh, I had left around eight questions. So 92 I had attempted. 92. Uh, yeah, but part A was comparatively easy. Part B was more of only fetal medicine, repro medicine part. So that I didn't want to take a chance, like uh, uh, attempting many and uh, scoring less. 
So uh, that uh, I had done, but part A was literally easy, ma'am. It was like uh, easy. This year, obs was easy. Yeah. Uh, wonderful. So it's really nice having you over, Dr. Kavya, and taking this interview with you. All the best for your future. Thank you, ma'am. Thank Stay you so much. Stay in touch since you'll be sure. doing reproductive medicine.